Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt, and we're back with another daily what sold video. This is going to be everything that sold yesterday, which was Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. Sold 27 items for a total of $738. Uh, pretty darn good sales day for a Tuesday. Can't complain at all. Uh, let's take a look at what sold. All right, here we go. First up, I've got a postcard. I, I know you're shocked, right? Um, this is uh, Indian Village uh, entrance from above, St. Ignace, Michigan. Uh, linen postcard. Really nice, uh, very cool linen postcard here. Sold for uh, $13.45 plus shipping. Sold a pencil sharpener. Um, you know, keep an eye out for these. Uh, they do pretty well. Not sure why this one did not do so great. Maybe it was for the photo or the model or any number of other things probably could have caused it. I picked this one up in the buyout. Uh, I did have another eBayer in 2019. Uh, I've got most of that inventory heavily discounted right now, and this was part of that sale. It sold for $8.46 plus shipping, and I think the buyer got a pretty good deal on it. All right, these nifty, crazy-looking things are antique silver plate egg toppers or egg cutters. Uh, I am a never egg, so um, I, I guess it's for, like, you snip off the top of the shell or something. I don't know. Looks scary to me. I picked it up in Colorado in a box lot at the auction I went to. I thought it was a piece of medical equipment, which is why it caught my eye. It just looked kind of crazy. I did have to clean it up a bit, um, but it did sell for $95 plus shipping and is going overseas to England via the Global Shipping Program. Another postcard, this is the Panama, California Expo, uh, first tunnel on San Diego, Arizona Railroad. Uh, very cool looking, divided back. You see how the Panama Pacific Expo up here. Uh, Pretty much anything having to do with the Expo is a good seller. Uh, this one sold for $16.16 .16 plus shipping. It was on sale. We have the Hot Lake Sanatorium in Hot Lake, Oregon. Uh, this came from my recent pickup from a local collector. Uh, very cool sepia view of this uh, sanatorium or hospital or, you know, medical lake. Uh, this one here sold for $5.95 plus shipping. Sold this here jacket. This is a Landway soft shell, sort of like a motorcycle jacket. Um, this was not from the clothing inventory from an eBay I bought out. This was early in my eBay career. Uh, I was buying clothing for resale. Um, probably only paid a buck for this, but uh, and it took, oh, nearly four years to sell. So... Uh, with that being said, I got finally $11.29 plus shipping, and I am happy to have it gone. This is a horse tack medallion. Um, definitely something to look out for. This stuff shows up at thrift stores and garage sales. A lot of people don't know what this stuff is, but it's for basically decorating the bridle of a horse. Um, it, these things are very collectible. This is solid brass. Uh, I did pick up a lot of these at uh, estate auction um, and probably had eight or nine of them that I purchased. I think I paid $22 for the lot. Uh, I think this is the last one to sell. Um, sold for $13.45 plus shipping. Here we have Holiday Chalet. This is a vintage advertising brochure from the 1950s for uh, the Chalet Apartment Building and Hotel in Colorado. Uh, it's just a two-sided piece of paper. Um, picked this up in a lot of travel ephemera I bought off Facebook Marketplace in an ephemera group. Paid $125 shipped for a lot of, oh, it was probably about 50 pounds that came to my door. Uh, I've sold many of the pieces out of that lot for 30, 40, 50 bucks. Uh, this is on the lower end of that. Uh, $7.15 plus shipping. 
Another Thing Maker mold. This is a modern Toy Max from um, 1992. Uh, this here, again, bought right off of eBay in a lot. Sold on eBay for $12.10 plus shipping. These are Tupperware condiment, uh, the Tupperware condiment bowl set complete. Uh, this came out of a lot uh, at an estate sale pickup. There's a, uh, a box that had the Tupperware logo on it that I noticed wasn't in the estate auction. Uh, I asked about it and uh, asked if they would be willing to sell it. They said, sure. I asked for a price. They said 15 bucks. I said, great. And it turns out it was basically a Tupperware party in a box that had never been used. Uh, so this one here sold for $12.55 plus shipping. It took about eight months to sell at that price. We have St. Clairsville Courthouse in Belmont County, Ohio, linen postcard. I uh, have a couple of these up. This is the first to sell. Sold for $5.36 plus shipping. Here's a record. This was from my own personal collection. This is uh, Z-Trip and Dell the Funky Homo Sapien. It's a rare um, uh, album, basically only sold as promo and at shows. Um, really good track. I used to actually DJ this track back in the day. Um, $50.36 plus shipping is what it sold for. Uh, here we have a uh, postcard in honor of California volunteers erected since the San Francisco fire. Uh, this is from the Sunday Examiner. I believe it's a Hearst newspaper. Um, not sure of that, but most of them kind of look like this with these wonky cuts. Uh, if you watch Popeye's postcards, he alludes to those quite often as well. Uh, this one sold for $13.45 plus shipping. Sold a Vigia game, Xbox One uh, F4 2016. Couldn't tell you where I got this. No, not a clue. No idea. <laughs> Truly don't know. Um, sold for $7.15 plus shipping. Sold another Vigia game, Snoopy's in Adventure with the booklet. Uh, sold for $12.15 plus shipping. See this? Don't buy them. This is a RCA CED or a Select Division disc. These are not worth your time. If you see them out in the wild, do not buy them. Uh, the only exception would be is if it also comes with a player that is working. Otherwise, these are junk. They are heavy. They are a pain in the butt to ship, and do not buy them. Uh, it took nearly four years for this to sell. Sold for $11.62. I did not lose money on it, but it went to Canada. It's a three pound ship. Cost me 20 bucks to ship. Uh, I netted about 19 cents before fees on this. So I did lose money. Uh, luckily my cost on this was practically nothing, but don't do what Donnie don't does and don't buy Select Division CED video discs. So the 45 record, this is, it's actually a 78 record, six inch. You'll see here the tiny little record here. Good night, little Wrangler. Mickey Mouse Club record sold for $22. Took an offer on this one. Took a couple years to sell, but you know, these kind of things don't take up much room. Unlike the CED discs, which take up a huge ass bin in my basement that I stub my toe on all the time. Don't buy them. All right. This is an oil derrick in Oklahoma. Nope. 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 This is the Wilton Basin in North Dakota, not Oklahoma. Uh, Chrome postcard from the 1960s sold for $3.19 plus shipping. Got the Co Coit Memorial Tower on Telegraph Hill, Alcatraz Island in the distance here. Nice linen postcard, unposted. I think this one came from the uh, uh, came off of eBay and a lot. Sold for three ninety five plus shipping. Same customer came back and bought this one, San Francisco, California, bandstand at Golden Gate Park. Again, nice unposted. 
Civic Novelty Company divided back postcard sold for $8.06 plus shipping. This is a Minuteman album full of stamps. I picked this up at an antique mall that was closing down in Seattle uh, over the summer. I just listed it last month. Um, I actually did a video on this one uh, because it's a huge book. I'm trying and to go through this relatively quickly. You can always pause the video if you need to see some more. So I went through the whole thing here. It took me about 13 minutes to do it. Uh, but I think that really helped sell it so the buyer could see everything that was in it. So uh, if you ever want to put a video in your listing, there's a website called flippertools.com. And there is an easy to do way to do that. Uh, the stamp book sold for $145.75 plus shipping. This is a real photo postcard of Temple Best Israel in Portland, Oregon. It is trimmed. It says so right there. Um, it is a trimmed postcard. Uh, I didn't price it up because of that, uh, but it sold super quick for $6.95 plus shipping. Um, sold in just a couple of hours, I believe. Let's see here. It sold at $7.46 and it was listed at $7.14. So it took about 30 minutes to sell. Here's Mama Africa, Peter Tosh. Cassette tape, bought a lot of cassettes at a state auction in the fall back in October. This was one of the tapes sold for $6.44 plus shipping. There's a lot of nine 10 inch musical masterpiece society classical music records uh, i actually pulled these out of the back of a pickup truck on its way to goodwill at a garage sale in Coeur d'Alene, idaho back in these august of 2020. um i actually have video of it somewhere but uh who knows where that's at at this point um pretty happy with this though i Got nothing into it. Sold for thirty-one forty-five plus shipping. We have Indian Village at Saint Ignace, Michigan. Again, linen postcard. Sold for thirteen dollars and forty-five cents plus shipping. Next up is. Either this is well, I think this is either U.S. or um, World War One or U.S. Mexico War. It's around that era. The stamp box here tells me 1904 to 1915. Looking at the landscape, my guess is this is probably the Mexican-American War. These guys kind of look a little bit like cavalry. Couldn't get an, enough of an identification of anything on their uniforms really that would. Um, 100% identify one way or another. Uh, but this very much looks like the Southwest versus, you know, Germany. <laughs> uh, in any case, I bought this at a um, estate mall in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho for this price, $1. Not a bad price, eh? Uh, sold for $17.95 plus shipping. And our final item and final postcard of the video is the new Bradford Theater in Bradford, Pennsylvania. Came for the collection of Mr. Herbert Love. Thanks again, Herbert. And uh, sold for $4.46 plus shipping. So that, folks, is that. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please let me know down in the comments. You can also just hit the thumbs up button. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel and some other ways you can support the channel down in the description. Thanks for watching.